there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through what makes the chord progression that you heard in the intro there so special. Uh, this chord progression is a little interlude section from the song Sleepy Tea by the awesome band Chan. And I'll also show you what chords are being used so you can take them away and use them for yourself. Uh, so like I said, this is a little interlude section in the song uh, Sleepy Tea. And if you haven't checked out the video for this song already, it's like one of those Sega Mega Drive kind of um, retro game style videos. And it looks awesome. It's an awesome song and an awesome video. So the progression contains four chords when you strip away all of the embellishments and stuff. And I'm going to start at the very beginning, so I'm just going to start off with um, your triads, your basic chords, and then I will build up to the chords uh, that they're actually using. So obviously you can get an idea of how this actually functions in music theory terms, and you're not scratching your head when you come away from the video. Uh, the song is in the key of A major, and this is going to help embed the chords in some kind of context as you'll see. And we have two guitar parts, two different sets of chords by uh, Eric and and Mario, and I'm going to play Eric's chords first in their most basic form. So Eric's basically playing a D major chord, A with a C sharp in the bass, then an A major, and then he's ending on an E major. So this gives a 4, 3, 1, 5 progression in the key of A major. So it sounds like this. take a look at the, the uh, root notes that have been used, you get this nice little line. So you get D, C sharp, A, E, which sounds like um, a Gary Newman song or some electro kind of pop stuff. <laughs> and if we move over to um, Mario's part, so that if we look at the basic chords of that, so Mario starts on an A, and it goes to F sharp minor, then to an E major, and ending on a C sharp minor. And if we take again, if we take a look at the, the root notes of each of those chords, we're going to get an A, F sharp, E, C sharp. And when you put the two root notes together, so Eric's and Mario's root notes, you get this. So you're going to have an, a D and an A, and a C sharp, F sharp, and then we're going to have a A and an E, and then a, she, a, she, a C sharp and an E. So you get this lovely descending progression. And what makes this really interesting is the harmonization, so what notes, what sound you're hearing when the two chords are played together. Now we're going to move on to um, look at the chords they're actually playing, minus all the little embellishments. So if we start with Eric's piece, we have um, a, D major, a D major 7, which sounds like this. Then he plays this um, a, add, a major add 9 with a C sharp in the bass. Then we have an A major 13. E major. And then Mario's part, he's playing um, an A, A major, and then an F sharp minor 7, and he plays an E sus4, and then a C sharp minor. And when you play them together, you get this lovely sound. So if we consult this chart that I've had in the background form with me, um, 
going on through this video. We can see how the notes are harmonized here. And you've got a lot of third harmonies, if you minus the root notes here. And a third harmony is a very safe and very cool sounding harmony to use. And a rule with harmonies, how to work them out, is usually you start with the lowest note and compare it to a higher note, which I've done here. So if we take a look at Eric and Mario's parts together, I've put the arrow to indicate which way I'm working out the harmony. So going from uh, Eric's to Mario's part. But in the last part, actually, Eric plays the higher part and Mario plays the lower part, so it's actually reversed on the harmony there. And like, as I said, as you can see, there's pretty much all third harmonies going on I've highlighted here, uh, along with the, but the, the difference is the, uh, the root notes there are different harmonies in you know, fourths and fifths instead. And that's what gives it this very mystical feel. And also just the general chord voicings just sound so mystical, especially, I really, really like Eric's uh, chords here. You know, like a D major seven. <laughs> It's already a nice, interesting chord. But this uh, A add nine with a C sharp in the bass, it's just, um, you know, C sharp minor seven, but with this raised note here. That was beautiful. And then the A major 13 is full of mysticism. Now that tension there. And then um, just ending on a straight major and minor chord there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I had a lot of fun putting this one together. I can turn this into a series if this is something you're interested in. You know, I'm always looking for new chords, so I've learned a bunch myself from this song. Oh, you can find all of the chords that are in this video uh, over on my website. There'll be a link down below for that in the description, so you can head over there and see all the lovely chords. And uh, I want to say thanks to all of my patrons, and if you're looking to support the channel, you could become a patron. I also have merchandise available and Amazon affiliate links. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.